Hello. In this video, I want to talk about connecting a Ubiquiti Unify APAC light access point to a network. And I'm going to be talking about this uh, connecting it in standalone mode. So with these access points, you can hook them into a Unify controller, which is like a centralized management application. And uh, you have lots of advanced features, but there's also a mode where you can just connect this access point to a network. So if you have a, you know, a basic home network and you want to add a Wi-Fi access point without um, you know, a lot of complication, you can plug this in and do that. So what I have here is I have an, an iPad and I have the Unify app I've downloaded from the App Store. And I have uh, my Ubiquiti access point and I plugged it into the Ethernet cable. Um, you know, it uses power over Ethernet, it's in the instructions. So you plug that in. And then, um, I think you have to do this within three minutes. Um, you want to go into the Unify app, and then you want to go to devices down here, and say connect to AP. And it will say you need to have access point plugged into your network that has a DHCP server, and the light needs to be white. So mine is, I'll hit next. If your camera has not been turned on, it will ask you to turn your camera on or allow it. So. I just uh, scanned the QR code on the back of the access point and I'll hit join and it'll say connecting to Wi-Fi and it says finished so now it's showing up and it was showing up it found it on its own but um, it's showing up over here it says loading status now I can go up here to the right upper right and I can say configure and you'll see it says configure a standalone all oh. Hit that button. Uh, you can give the device a name. You can uh, enable the status LED. So if this was in your bedroom, you may want to turn that off. And then you can go to radios and you can uh, turn the the 2G and 4G, um, 2 gigahertz and 4 gigahertz radios on and off. You can change the uh, channel and the bandwidth and the power. I'm going to leave this to default. And then you can go into uh, WLANs. Um, and you can have it, it's enabled automatically on the 2G. So you can go down here to 5G and enable that. Um, we can set the security, we can set the SSID. So let me do that. So I'll change that to saucer. And then it has the security key. I'll change that to password. Now don't think I'm leaving this as password, this is just for the video. Um, if we go down to the 5G, we'll change this to saucer 5, and the encryption, we'll change that to uh, WPA, WPA to personal, and we can set this to password. And then uh, we can hit back and then you hit save. This will save the configuration. Okay, so that's it. So now this uh, access point is on the network. Um, I just checked it on another um, device. It has Saucer and Saucer 5, so I can connect up to those, type the password in, and have Wi-Fi access. So this is a, um, like I said, this is the basic uh, solution. The other uh, one is where you use the Unify controller, but if you have one of these, um, you know, this may be a good solution for some people. Uh, if you want the advanced features, then yeah, you're going to need a Unify controller. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like, and thanks for watching.